Yeah, we can. All right. Okay. Um, so we'll call the meeting to order of the Public Outreach Committee for the consolidation study. Uh, there is a new member of the committee going to be coming tonight, we believe, but uh, she's got another meeting, so she might be a little late. So we'll put that off. We have a few people who come to, three in fact, who come to help us with our work. So maybe we'll move the agenda around a bit to accommodate them. Uh, first, it seems we have the hardcore committee here. <laughs> so we can have a motion to uh, approve the minutes of the meeting held on September 10. And uh, for anybody's information, uh, the minutes are a continuous set of minutes, and Ariana sends them from the meeting. At the end of tonight's meeting, they'll be broadcast, everyone on the committee, as well as the uh, village clerk. So if anyone in the viewing audience wants to see them, the village clerk has them, and of course you have uh, the tapes. Um, so would you like to make a motion to approve the minutes from September 10? I make a motion to approve the minutes from September 10. Is there a second? A second. All in favor? All right. Aye. <laughs> the triumvirate, yeah. Okay. So, uh, several people no, have, like have come to, uh, to give us information tonight that we can help pass along. And uh, they would include uh, Brian Kimbis, who we're going to ask about the website and things that we can do. Uh, Sally Rhodes is here and to speak to a few issues and also Peter Fairweather uh, because we're very interested to make sure that everyone has the full report of the efficiency study which we'll, we're going to work to get on uh, the website and then for those of you who can't feature reading that much there's a summary of it, which will also be on the website, and uh, some other documents. So, if hi, hi, Julie. You said it. Um, so, if it's all right with everyone, let's uh, proceed with Peter, uh, who can tell us about uh, what we've got here, and keeping in mind that our our function is to get this history and this information uh, to the public so when the time comes to make a decision they'll be able to make an informed decision and before that time they'll have an opportunity to uh, answer questions, uh, to ask questions and we will get them the answer to those questions and that's something else we're going to talk about later in this meeting how we're going to do that. Um, so Peter why don't you just cover with us, I, I know the answer to this but uh, what the basic documents are, and then make a, maybe if you have any suggestions on how we we get them onto the um, the website. We have our website maven back here who is listening to every word, and then we'll see what we can do. Um, so what we've got is um, I dropped off tonight <coughs> both an electronic format. full report, and I think there are five or six appendices of the consolidation committee's work, along with a, it's a 14-page summary of the, the entire document, um, which was designed to be kind of a, a community outreach piece. Um, so those can certainly be made available. Um, there are also other things that might be useful, you know, that, that um, Tim Wiedemann and I did a couple of presentations um, that might still be useful and relevant. So, you know, I'd be happy to participate in you know, if there's meetings or um, other forms of public outreach where it's useful to have that kind of perspective. I'd be happy to do that. Well, thank you. Um, there are going to be public yeah. meetings in public television and quite a few other things. Because I think one of the things, the, the recommendation, I think the co terminus recommendation, there's some subtleties to that which everybody's been grappling with. And I think with the, you know, extent to which people can understand what the term is, why it was recommended, what the advantages might be, I think would be useful. And also, you know, the, the idea that this committee is putting forward, just getting the 
information out there so people can decide whether they like the idea or not. But this, you know, there was a lot of work that was done by a, a very good committee um, that you know needs to see the light of day, needs to have a broad discussion at this point, especially now that the subcommittees have, have taken that work a step forward. Um, so again, you've got the basic documents. If there's any others, you know, we'd be happy to supply those. Um, and you know, as needed and as scheduled permits, when the not advance notice it should permit, I'd be happy to participate in the public outreach process, make sure that um, you know, help put together a presentation that might um, summarize some of the results, things of that sort. All right, and we part of what we're doing is uh, gathering questions and uh, then find what we hope is the best way to get the answers out to not only to ask them but to the public in general. Mm -hmm. So we may call upon you if there's a, a tricky one. Uh, wherever we can get the answer, we're going to do that. And if it's a controversial one that we may not fully know the answer or there's different opinions on that, we'll, we fully intend to um, put the full information out. Because this committee takes no stand on what we should do. Uh, what is charged with getting the information out to everyone so they can make their own decision. Uh, we have website man back here. Do you have any uh, questions about what Peter has as far as the practical application of getting that, say, on the village website, and then we'll tackle the same issue with the town's website, I assume? I don't think it will be an issue. Um, I think we already have at least part of the consolidation study on the website. So it, you know that I'm not Mr. Technology. Yes. So as far as this, this command, command, this uh, long report is concerned, is that something where you, you put the whole thing up or do you put a link to some place where they go get it or it how might, would that work? It might be a link where you would be able to view it um, in a separate window and just like open to from there or maybe you can download it in like a compressed zip file. Yeah, because there's the full thing, because there's two versions of it on that disk. One is the full thing, and that's about five megs. Which, Stuart, that'll be enough to discourage you, I think. <laughs> uh, but they, they're also... Yeah, no five megs. There's, there's another um, version. There's the, all, I think, the main document and the five appendices all separately. And I think those are all under a meg each. Mm -hmm. So they can, you know, they can be done either way. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it's definitely possible just depending on how logistically we want to do it. I would assume having the ability to bring it onto your computer as well as up, like, you know, a little bit right there would probably be the way to do it. So here's the $64,000 question. All right. right. Like Sally's the only one old enough to remember what that was, probably, but I don't. Um, how soon can we do this? How, how um, soon can so we get we, that first seat up because we're I mean, pushing for time we, here? We can do it tomorrow. We can send it to Katie tonight. Tomorrow, we'll, I can agree to tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow is, I would say, very possible. Um, okay, so, so are you the person I should give this to? If, if you want me to be that person, I mean, you just leave it for Katie tonight. Okay, I, whatever. Well, I, just, I, don't, I just don't want it to get lost, and I want it to get expedited. Do you want Katie to burn the second box somewhere? Yeah, well, that's the big file off that. Okay, but this is a zip, uh, smaller. Well, it's, it's the big one, plus it's broken down into smaller ones. But yeah, the one that you got for the big files, um, server, you can forward that, and that will, um, that's the main document. So just send that with the email to Katie. Yes, that, or something. That, that is just. And then that's got, that, the CD has got it broken down by uh, main document events, so it's smaller than two bytes of this. So what's, so what's the decision? Does she go to Katie, or she go to you, or, but if it goes to Katie, you'll talk to her so that she yeah. knows we have a timeline here and it's important to us to get it on yes. ASAP? Yes, we can make it a top priority tomorrow. I think Ariana's emailing her currently. So <coughs> she'll, have, she'll have the electronic versions and we'll leave that for her. And okay. It makes it easier. And if she has any problems, I'll just let her call me. Okay. Thank you. Do, you. do you have any questions of, of Peter about other things that, um, based on the Steering Committee's work and the report that we should think of putting on our website? No, I, I think it's all fair for now. I mean, we could put 
some, we could find a way to post questions online. So like post, we'd be able to, you know, I was using this uh, Google Docs thing for the bicycle pedestrian survey. I uh, set it up for them. And you can go into the web page and you can ask whatever questions you want. So we can say, do you have any questions? And just leave an open-ended paragraph. And that's great. People can answer their questions. And then we can, you know, use that as a tool to bring in all right, so, as, so then as far as how do you handle answering the questions? Who, who gets the, the questions and then how do we get them to, well, to people who can answer them and make them part of the permanent record and so forth? Does this committee have its own email address? Or, I mean, what, we Not at present. Okay. We could either, I could set it up on someone's Gmail account or I could build one just for this particular group and then give you guys access. So whenever a question is asked, it'll go to like a spreadsheet form, and you'll see the questions there. And then you guys can just take those and bring them through whatever channels you want to have answered them. Okay. Well, I mean that sounds wonderful to me. Is there anyone has a contrary opinion or no, questions, this, questions this about that? Great. Okay. Brian and I can work on this thing. Yeah. Okay. Something else for you to do tomorrow, right? <laughs> No, because he works full time. Oh, okay. Pretty soon. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's more. Yeah, I sent Ariana and Steve <coughs> questions that this morning a group of us came, you know, topics that people thought people wanted to know about. You had sent out a whole list of questions <coughs> prior to this, <coughs> which I answered. Yes. But Thank you. my question is, how do we vet the answers? And if Peter's game, I'd be happy to send my answers to Peter to vet them, um, just to make sure that we agree and are on the same page as to the answers. So, I mean, I think there has to be, you know, don't take my word that these are the, the correct answers. I think there has to be somebody who will take the responsibility of that. So we need somebody to make sure that the process continues and then we need somebody, preferably not somebody who is on the board and might have a set opinion about it so far to look well, at the answers. Well, most of the questions are. aren't opinions, they no. are facts. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> and, but there were some. I mean, there are going to be opinion questions. Yeah, well, and some of the uh, questions are fairly general, and we're going to just have to t take our best shot in answering them. It's right, not but how many I people are on the board or something specific think, like that. It's, it's I think there should be philosophical one or two questions. people who have knowledge that are viewed as not vested, if you will, right. on either side who could take the answers that are being posed or suggested to the questions and say, that's a good answer, but have you thought about, or no, that is the answer. And I think you need and also, that, and also this just to give credibility. A vetting process, yeah. To the I, process. I think that's right. I, I also think there's gonna be some questions that we don't know the answers to yet because certain decisions haven't been made, such as, well, how many people will, if there, we do this, how many people will be on the new board? Well, I don't think anybody's prepared to say that at this moment. No, but the law But there are questions pretty, like that. The <coughs> law is pretty clear on that. You can have five, and if by referendum the community says they want seven, then you can have seven. But right now, I believe the law says it's five. But there is the possibility of seven if you have a referendum. Right, and the committee's recommendations. Is that right? So. Yeah, and then because we're dealing with so many different laws, the town law is different than the village law, and each of those has a section on forgetting consolidation on how, how to raise or lower the number <coughs> of people. So it's, you know, all of these get a little yeah, but interesting. Be, but I don't want to muddy the water either, no. Stuart, because the committee has recommended a village town-wide, therefore it's village law. Right. And that allows you to have five if you do nothing 
if you want to expand it to seven, it's a I referendum. I think that's a permissive referendum, in other words, mm -hmm. that you can do it, but you don't have to have a referendum unless somebody challenges it well, and says you have one. But anyway, I, that's... It's a little vague there. <laughs> the other thing we might do, and I'd be happy to do this, is to see if Sean McGuire from the Department of State would be willing to field some of the questions or mm -hmm. serve as a resource, because, you know, he's from out of town and that's a good job. And I suspect that his division might be willing to do that. Okay, and our only question about that is how fast he could do it, I guess. Are you police? Hi, welcome. I'm Ariana. Thank you. Um, do you want to join us at the table? You're not unwelcome here. <laughs> <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't for us to be sitting at the table. I know a comment there about, um, you know, you're talking about whether there's going to be five or seven. And, and, you know, I think for the most part, the public, it's not about whether there's going to be five or seven. They're going to write one and go, well, how are they going to work better? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, it's really more things like that. Like how, very like even one thing, you know, with scenario one and the police department, you know, yeah, numbers wise and, and contract wise, there's no change, but there's going to be a huge change in communication and efficiency. And so, how do you get those things across to the public? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, how much of our time is spent talking about inter municipal well, we're just, Yeah, the various committees who say, okay, well, you know, we really want to contact the police. Oh, no, you can't do that. You got to go through the town. And you have to have Susan, you know, um, submit a request, and uh, you know, it's like how much time was wasted doing that and, and lack of communication. Whereas with the coterminous, that's going to be, you know, essentially washed away. Um, well, really, you really have two sets of, of issues, and different members of the public are interested in either or both. One is the financial set, where my tax is going to go up or down, do we think, and that kind of so the financial part, but. Sometimes they forget the governance part, right. where you got two planning boards and people are running back and forth to village hall and town hall. Who's who's in charge of this? And by the time they get done, they've wasted That's two weeks. People really knew how much time is spent just doing those things. Yeah, Anything that has an intermunicipal agreement or supposed to right. is very time consuming administratively. Morial Pool is a good example. Morial Pool. If there were one government, there would be one manager, one decision-making process, one determination of summer help, one right. group determining capital projects and improvements. Right now, well, it's so an argument like, all the time. Like, how do you get across to the public, like, you know, that your same tax dollar is actually going to have more bang for its buck because, you know, the paid elected official is going to have more time to spend on the things that are important than rather than you know going from this office to that office for this request that you have. Know. Yeah, in the report, there's a, in it, I've subsequently come to believe it's a very conservative number, but there's an estimate about the dollars involved. Uh -huh. if, you know, if you put a dollar on the value of time and also looking at the time involved with the legal um, assistance, there's mm -hmm. a conservative estimate. And that's, and that's making literally no changes to the, what the functions are now, not putting them together and seeing what other efficiencies could happen. So. But in um, terms of answering that question, is there, there's, a, there's a preliminary answer to that question in the full report that, that can be just a basic discussion. I forgot what the number was. Let's say it's $250,000 or whatever. But there's a number that can be the base of the discussion One of the things that happened, this initial stage of getting the data out is to show the history of how we came to this point and the study and the issues that were brought up and what the recommendations were and then also an understanding of what could happen in the future, how the process would work. And then there's going to be the individual committees, uh, what their report is. And some of the committees, as I understand it, are getting ready to make their report soon. And they can be featured on the TV and, and the paper and 
so forth, and that'll usher in perhaps a lot of other questions that people can keep firing the questions in and we'll keep trying to fire the answers back. So, uh, and these reports are gonna be specific recommendations that, you know, as to what we should do. Um, the, the problem will be to get all the committees to report <laughs> the merge, in a timely the, manner. The <clears throat> picture of finances, the merge budget, and we're doing it based on 2011 figures and then we'll calculate up, um, is gonna show what the village budget was, what the town budget was, and what the merge budget would look like. And when you factor in the million dollar revenue from the state of New York in perpetuity, although I'm, I don't think anything is in perpetuity, no, but the, state the million dollars that <clears throat> we worked very hard to get finance, state finance law amended, million dollars off a merge budget tax revenue is a very large figure on the amount of impact that that will have. That money is not available if this community decides it does not want to consolidate. So, so anyway, so, the, the individual committees will report the specifics as best they can uh, and they'll be aired. And then when all of those reports are done, then the, uh, the two boards meet as the, I guess it's called the umbrella committee to put hammer out a final question which will go to referendum for both the town and the village, the taxpayers, <coughs> voters. Do you, yes or no, do you want to do this or not? And then, assuming they both say yes, then there'll be two years to put into the, the but program. Stu but Stuart, if by some good luck, we can get this work done and the referendum for the voters and have their vote prior to April 1st. In other words, if we can get it all done and put the question before the voters say in February or March and the vote is yes, it is our understanding from the State Department that the million dollars begins immediately. We, it's not at the time of the final, you know, merge but that the million dollars is available come April 1st. If we miss April 1st, then it goes the next fiscal year. Oh, I see. So it's not available if, <clears throat> say, we voted in May, then that million dollars would not become available till the next April. So that's important to know, too. And this is, this is basically the government saying that they think they're should be more efficiencies in the local government, and if you're willing to do this, then they're willing to put money towards the transition to make this happen. Seven. Which 70% of it has to go right. actually to decreasing taxes. And 30% toward transitional costs or transactional costs. And so th that's a considerable, I think it's a considerable motivating factor for us to to try and get our work done. So, going back to, uh, yes ma'am. If, uh, I have a question about the April 1st deadline as opposed to the next following year of this money being available if we vote yes. Is there a limitation? I mean, if we waited several more months and we couldn't quite get everyone on the same page, does this money go away? Or no, is it it's just is holding out for the town? What we what we succeeded in doing, police, was getting New York State finance law amended so that <clears throat> coterminous, which is really sort of a misnomer because it is one government, but because legally you must have always the town, one day in the year, or maybe two, if, <laughs> if we're slow, right, Peter? <laughs> Um, re legally required town business is done. But it doesn't go away. 
That's what I was trying to explain. It is to our advantage to try and do it before April because it means we'll get the million dollars this coming year. Correct. <coughs> we can't do that, or if the community feels it's not ready yet, then it would go into the next year. It, the million dollars is available as long as the state legislature funds it. Right now, there's $35 million, we understand, floating around that, has, that is directed toward merger governments, whether they be school districts or you know, our kind of government or county governments, and it's, it has not been used. Very little of it has been used because, you know, the whole process of thinking about merger is a major change. So it doesn't disappear. It only goes away if we do nothing. Amy Cohen says there's no sound. She says she's watching us at home and there's no sound. Hi, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> votes no, which means staying as we are, <coughs> then the million dollars does disappear. But what if it doesn't happen by April 2013 and it does go into the next then year? Then you're just 2014 would be... If the voters vote yes, that we will get the million? Or the only, only, the only guarantee is this coming? No, it's, it's, it's not so much... It's, it's based a guarantee. on the state fiscal year. I think, I think the thinking is that the governor is in favor of this kind of thing, and as long as he's the governor, governor, he's going to push for that. And the law will stay in place and continue until if they ever want to change it, or else they don't have Funny. the money to allocate and appropriate for this. But it's not thought that it's going to go away, and then it'll just continue. And it's not just the first year; it's however many years it takes. So if we're eligible to receive it prior to April 1st, 2013. We will receive it, and we will continue to receive it every year until the state doesn't fund it anymore. Okay. Per year. Yes. Per year. Yeah. If I could... Um, did, did I... Did, yeah. Is that clear? Okay. Thank you. If I could just get it back uh, while Peter's here, uh, if anyone else has any further questions, uh, we know what we're going to do about these reports and getting them on the website. Does anyone else have any other questions that, in, in case Peter doesn't want to stick around for the rest of this meeting? Are you still going along with the thought that you might do interviews and televise them on Channel 23? Yes. Then I have a question. Peter, would you be willing to be interviewed? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I mean, the other thing is schedule permitting, I interview the interviews for the other folks. Mm -hmm. Or you could interview the other folks? Because uh, there's two things that's going on here. There's you do be the interviewer? Yeah, I used to do that. Used to oh, that would be really uh, wonderful. Oh, we need somebody to do that. But because there's the, there's the report itself and what it says, and then there's the committee's work. Right. Works, and I think it would be useful to bring out, you know, what's come out of your recommendations, how it, how it changed. I think it'd be great if we could have at least one interview of you with somebody from the efficiency committee. Yeah, I think that would be good. So you know, we'll have sitting a, together, talking about why and how and. Yeah, well, we're going to have to have at least one history right, interview, and then. As we uh, get these committee reports, uh, then each one, you know, besides putting the word out on the TV and other ways and on the website, to actually, you know, have some talking heads about the uh, particulars of it, and then perhaps even if we can arrange it, which I think we can, we can talk about it, is to announce when these are going to be on. And people can call in at that time, put yes, everybody questions. on the hot seat. <laughs> and, uh, now, Brian's committee is almost, I mean, in fact, you are done? Or you're almost done? Uh, we, we, get to, we should have one more meeting. Okay. 
the fund to come up with the fund. Then there'd be some so kind of a document. If he said that she was willing to um, be, she basically said, "Tell me what to do, and I'll do it." Um, in terms of being interviewed and or on TV, and I was thinking maybe you and her talking about what your committee did, like two or two people from the committee, sure. not doesn't have to be you and her. That's what right. you're here, and she already mm -hmm. said yes. Um, <laughs> so I figured maybe you know yeah, two I mean, people doing I, it could I mean, give good people people explanation. Call in to ask questions. Yeah. Right, I was on the committee as well. Um, yeah, shouldn't do that again. Um, no. So you know, I don't know. I think uh, we'd like to get as democratic a process as possible. So if maybe at the next meeting we'll discuss who would who would like to do it. Beautiful. Um, we do have. A document that's coming to closure. Mm -hmm. I would say to say, say that, and I guess we'll come before your committee, or we'll send our representatives to your committee to review it with you folks, and then I guess if they want, to, we're going to do interviews, or we'll you know uh, post them on the website, I assume, or like post post it via the web so people can take a look at it. And I, I mean that that makes the most sense to me. It's just like as they come in, send them out, and just kind of garner as much press or whatever. I mean, yeah. There's there's. Some Was work. there anybody on your committee taking minutes? Yeah, we, we all have minutes. And okay. So and um, um, yeah. the clerk has all of the. Right. I just I just in the email I sent her I asked if she could put all the minutes on the website as Great. well. Um. You know maybe we could. Right. Made sure that we, yeah. Got them to her. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Um, maybe we could set something up with the new Falls Times. I mean, this is a pretty big project that's impacting. We we did. Like, They're willing to do it. It's just a matter of actually giving them something written. Okay. We we uh, Ariana and I have met with the editor, and uh, she's willing to be helpful with that. I even have a a section. A weekly section to update on this. That's great. So That's great. For, we need to have something to put in there. But I mean, okay. she's, she's ready to go when we're ready to go, no, not only with press release kinds of things, but with statistics or links to the website or whatever. So well, we should we'll, we'll have, that'll be well accepted by them. But it would seem to me the first thing you would want to put in are, is the recommendation of the Efficiency Committee that was accepted by the two boards. So everybody knows what was recommended. Right, but we we were kind of holding off till we have several things lined up so that it won't be a long gap. So if we have the history part, and then we have the HR part or the finance, and vice versa. Uh, you know, we can go with those, and, and even those we can do with uh, interviews on the air. And uh, Channel Twenty Three can can be live, but also then show it more than that right, have all uh, those videos and because videos. everyone learns differently and some people are into reading 50 page documents like that but some people won't get beyond page two but if they hear people talking about it they'll get them thinking about it yeah. so. maybe whatever the paper does too every week at the bottom there could just be um, an email address or something that people can submit questions to right oh, yeah. that's part of it sure. you know? yeah. because i think that's really a large part uh, of decision making. The feeling that you can ask any question that you want to ask. No question is stupid. No question is dumb. Every question that anybody has in this community is important and it's valuable and it needs to be answered. And I think part of it's encouraging people to believe that they can ask anything and should ask because it, if you have a question and it matters to you that it be answered you know, in, a, in a certain way, then the answer should be provided and you then have the right to decide whether that satisfies you in because people vote for very different reasons. Most of us really vote not on what other people think, but how it's going to affect me personally, my home, my property. I mean, that's basic. And 
you know, that's the way it is, and that's people's rights. But they also have the right to ask any question and receive as best and most complete answer that we could provide. And if there are two sides to an answer, in other words, it's really an opinion, then I think we have to provide both of those answers. And for those of you who have been here before, one of the other items that we've been discussing <coughs> is um, creating a speaker's bureau. When more data becomes available, actually go out into the public to different groups and uh, make presentations and answer questions and things. And we've been, some of the assignments that this committee has given itself is to come up with a contact list that we're building at each meeting, more names and contacts. So when we're ready to step off with that, you know, we're going to, not only a newspaper, not only the TV, whatever it takes, handbills with the Boy Scouts, whatever it takes, you know, we're going to get it out there. So no one has an excuse that they didn't have an opportunity to ask questions or no. I mean, there'll always be somebody who'll say they never heard of it, but we're going to try to find that person. <laughs> <laughs> and you will. <laughs> <laughs> we will find you wherever you are now. <laughs> um, are there any other questions that Peter is kind enough to come down tonight? I don't want to hold him for the whole meeting. You're welcome to stay, but um, okay, thank you. Yeah, you know how to get a hold of me. And again, you know, whatever we know where to find you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks again. Thank you. Good night, Randall. Go to bed with a cup of tea and honey. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah he's, I'm, I'm always, he's, he's, a, <laughs> he's a member of our community. I know, too, but though, he's so. sicker than a dog. We tie him to the chair. There's no excuse. <laughs> Oh, you tied him in. Okay, he won't fall over. Oh, it's just the Vince Lombardi committee. Uh, get up here, not hurt. Come on. Um, <laughs> the uh, the webman. Uh, do you have any other questions of us, or does the committee have any questions of Brian while well, we've got him here? Can you we do like a YouTube channel with interviews on the? Yeah, I mean we have um. What the public access channel uses? The name escapes me right now. But New Paltz Living. Has all the videos posted currently mm -hmm. of consolidation committee meetings, town board meetings, village ones, board meetings, and whatnot. So, um, I'm and there's a link to that on the village Facebook. Yeah. Uh, I was just going to ask is that also on like any other current pages or websites or anything that we currently have? And because we're also going to develop a Gmail account to also get questions that we yeah. should also put on our the village website section that we're on in the Facebook and whatever else we decide to sure. create, so that every there's a little link to everything else on each thing. Right. Yeah, I think. I mean, we could post the videos to Facebook. I think actually. Or oh, just a link to the channel. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's that's very easy. We don't want to make it too complicated. No, I know. Um, <laughs> that's for sure. Good, yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, I think we should have a link to the. YouTube channel on the Facebook, so people will be on their Facebook and then click on that and then link to the... Amanda, yeah. Brian's used to working with me and he knows I'm no techie. <laughs> I don't know if anyone is familiar with the New Paltz group page on Facebook, but it's like a, a couple hundred like people of the village of New Paltz or like the very immediate area, maybe the village in town. And it gets into like political phrase a lot and you know, people arguing, but Actually, I think one of the committee meetings was posted on it last week. Amy might have posted the HR committee to it, and it just like pops up there. So maybe we can use like channels like that to just kind of like send the message a little bit further, or just or just everyone repost the you know the page or the links so people can get there. I mean, we're just gonna have people. We're gonna have to have people out there spreading the message in the web world. And I think you know Facebook would be a good tool for that. It's not like the be all end all, but it would be helpful. To Are you volunteering? I'm definitely gonna repost. I've been I've been doing some more posting here and there, but I'll, I'll it, definitely. I just got a text from my boss. It is already on Facebook. It is on Facebook. Yeah. All the videos or uh, the text message said tell them it is already on Facebook. So I assume so. Okay. So uh, on Facebook. Here we go. So what what should I look up? Uh, maybe New Paltz Living. Oh, yes, that's probably it. So, don't ask me, I don't do Facebook. <laughs> so, the tasks we have 
so far is, is making sure that these documents that Peter uh, brought in are on our website and then you two are going to work about setting up this Gmail account for the questions? New Paltz Public Access. New Paltz Public Access. E easy enough. Okay. Is, that, is that right? What? That you, between the two of you, come up with this new <coughs> Gmail account that people, we're yes. going to advertise everywhere. You have a question about it, just send it there, send and then we'll have to, if it gets to be a, a huge number of questions, then we'll have to have a variety of people working to answer right. them. We can, we can build a form. Who's, who's going to be res the responder? We need, it's not so much the responder. Who's going to get them off there and say, these are the questions? You're and not expected to, to answer, you're not expected the to answer them all, but you're expected <laughs> to Yeah, we'll bring the questions to the committee. And then we'll divvy them up, or we'll we'll figure out how who who needs to answer a particular right. question or whatever. So, but that that we can do pretty quickly, right? So it sounds like we're we're getting to the point where we can uh, get the history part, and then the HR part, and the finance part. So we'll have some things and planning, planning, and planning done. to to get to the um, to the paper and to the TV station. And we'll and then be building up for the. I don't know if we're gonna. We should do the speakers bureau before we have all the reports or not, because I would then we don't have the full picture. But I would suggest that you wait <coughs> until, and I may be wrong, until the finance part is done, which should be soon. But more until the two joint boards meet and deal with the referendum question. Well, I don't. I don't think we should be waiting to publicize things because I think. Oh no no no! I'm oh, about just, the speakers bureau. Just we're the about. speakers bureau. Oh oh okay. Because you don't want to go out and tell half Sorry, the story. Sorry, I'm also typing what was said. Well, you know, multitasking. Yeah. <laughs> no, because that I think until you know exactly what you are offering to the public Zimmer. and what you're asking them to decide yeah. about. Oh, well, I don't know what you say in German for that. The speakers bureau. <laughs> Wake up, I guess. Is that should follow that? This okay. is what we're presenting to you to vote upon, and this is what. <coughs> right. Okay. I think that that's a good idea. Yeah. So it would seem to me that the referendum question has to be framed before you do the speakers. That's, that's a good point. I think. Now, as, as far as the HR committee is concerned. Um, Someone should be a liaison here to when that is done. Here's here's our final report, yeah. and then we we can work with you as to how we're going to get that out there. And because we've set up some of these areas, we're <coughs> ready to go once we have this substance. Right. Right. So. So I think we'll probably figure out who, not between the two of us, but in our meeting, in our group. When is your next meeting? Uh, should be in the next week, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have a date yet? Well, we had one, but uh, there was a public hearing going on. Uh, uh, and some of our members couldn't make it, so we, since it was likely to be the last meeting, we thought that we should wait and have a full hold committee. one full meeting. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <coughs> um, also, is New Falls Public Outreach at gmail.com a good email? Um, I would think you want something that gets the, the public to know it's something it's about a consolidation. potential consolidation. Yeah. Okay. But consolidation is a really long word. Well, yeah. I mean, something that gets that <laughs> concept that it's about this particular issue as opposed to public outreach. About a thousand things. What, one about. government public outreach? Consolidate new faults. Well, 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 we, we, want, we need a more we need a neutral, a neutral name. Yeah. <laughs> Consolidation outreach, but I mean it's getting kind of long. There's no one thinking too. Anything consolidation at gmail.com? I mean consolidation. Consolidation questions. questions. It's almost an alliteration. Uh, consolidationquestions.com. Uh, <laughs> uh, that might be kind of tough. Um, I'm gonna mean, check it now. Yeah. Oh, you're you're doing that. Yeah, right? well. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Government change consequences. Yeah. Well, you right. put an NP in there. Just right. so. Yeah, NP right. consolidation NP. outreach. NP consolidation outreach. Do you have something? I like that.
Save the children or something. Save one, the children. one government <laughs> outreach. As you know, that. So, same <laughs> <that's me. laughs> New Falls Consolidation Outreach. Yeah. Uh, does that seem. I like it. But do you think people will know that? I think that it's that worried means? too. That's why I said in well, general. Falls consolidation. Yeah, but yeah, I think, I think, I think you, you don't want to imply that this. Outreach. I don't think you don't, don't want to imply that this is a, a done deal. I think you have to consolidation study, consolidation potential. I like the something. question. Consolidation, consolidation questions. Well, the problem is people might not know what you're talking about when you say consolidation. If you are new to this community and have not been paying much attention, you may not even know that we're talking about merging two governments. But consolidation email, can be consolidation right. of anything. But the email is only going to be seen on documents and websites and web pages that are going to be about consolidation. Yeah. Somebody's not even going to see this email until, they're, until they've seen a flyer that talks about consolidation. You can make it a question. Shall we merge? Question. <laughs> question not mark. Shall we merge? But wait, what was the one you said it was like consolidate questions or consolidate new polls questions? Consolidate new polls questions. It could be like consolidate NP question mark and she felt I don't know if we get a question. I don't think yeah, uh, I don't think we have symbols in here. Oh, one new poll. One new polls. One new polls. Well, it's a question mark. I mean if you want to make it a question yeah. because it's not <laughs> answered. <laughs> Well, we can well, change the law. We can change the law. 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 Change it's New Paul's New Paul's no. New Paul's <laughs> merger question. Um, it could be just I don't think validation that's... questions at gmail.com <laughs> might be yeah, just the best. This is yeah. not you and Ariana sat together and I was telling you things that you are like definition. By definition, it can't it isn't neutral. By definition. What? The whole referendum question. But we have to present it in a neutral way. No, that's not my point, and I think Brian brings up a good point. <laughs> Wouldn't be my Story. choice, but that's our... There is a recommendation. Do. Yes. Right, the so neutrality is that questions. this committee should not <laughs> be <laughs> taking a position. Someone already has it. But, but there is a recommendation. Oh, sure. Sure. And to pretend that MP we're just sitting here questions. thinking about it is not true. There's oh, true. a recommendation before this community, based on a $50,000 grant study, that the two governments should merge. The whole point of this committee is to be neutral as to whether it's a yes or no, and pose all answers to all questions. So you, but you to say what? that it's neutral, it's not neutral. There is a recommendation. Well, you don't like uh, shall we merge questions? Oh, shall we merge questions? Wait, what about NP consolidation questions? That is available. NP consolidation questions. I mean, I don't mind that. I'm just saying that I don't want to. I people think, think we're standing think, for something in particular. I think that I'll do that with another hat on, but not right. this, with this hat on. Right. I think right. that's. And that seems fairly, fairly neutral. neutral. Yeah, that seems pretty neutral. Yeah. I mean, that is what it is. Right. right. Questions about consolidation yeah. from New Falls. Right. So yeah. consolidation questions. And consolidation. And, and it's going to be consolidate qu questions. Gmail. At gmail. And it's going to be seen in the context of. We hope. Okay. Well, I mean, people aren't going to like see it written on a brick wall somewhere. You know what I mean? Well, it's going to be like on a flyer, on a website, on a handbill, whatever. Is there anybody uh, checks to that? So since we're going to do this tomorrow, I guess that's it. That's the bell tolls. That's the bell tolls. All right. So that's that's two tasks for that department. Are there anything anything else we should do or decide upon, or can we, any questions our group can answer for you, either of your two groups, either the website group or the HR group at this point? Do we know 
where the rest of the communities are at. I have what's what's the stat? Like are we, we know some of them first. Yeah, no, I, I know. No. We have some that apparently are are way behind. Remiss. Okay. One is way behind and has not begun. Okay. Which okay. we'll be hearing Remiss about. Remiss is supposed to be finished. So. November. You're supposed to be done at the end of November. They're going to be meeting, I guess, from now until November every night. Really? Well. <laughs> that, would, that would be our fondest wish. Brian, I love you. <laughs> really? <laughs> Supposed to be uh, done and to the umbrella committee. So wait, I have I need something. I have a suggestion because so I was talking to Stuart earlier today, and I wanted to bring this up. Like the idea that the committee should only present what their final project product is. I think like there are some committees that like like planning and zoning, for instance. We have a very laid out process that we can at least present that. So I don't know if the other committees have something similar, but like planning and zoning, we said we're gonna look at everything and check for for if it's if things are inconsistent or if things are incompatible mm -hmm. and kind of list things that way and look at like the definitions of things. Like there's a pretty you know, there's pretty strategic things that we can go through. Your so the committee is um, waiting for two final reports, planning and zoning. Yes, and yeah. then you're done. And then we're done. But but I think um and, and we're we're having a meeting, oh gosh, what is it? Uh Soon. Next week? Next week, yeah. Um, I got an email about it saying, so I think it's next month. You're really in but, good shape. But, but so something like that, though, we could, because part of part of what I think the public, you know, in general, the the idea that people were upset about how this went on the first time is because they weren't involved in the process part of it. So I think if we start publicizing the process part of it, like, like this morning Julie said, it's about trust. And yep. the, it's about the community's trust in the people making the decisions, the process that we're going through. And I think if we just keep putting that out there, that would be helpful. What, what about on uh, Channel 23, having little notices for each of the committees? The, For example, the Planning and Zoning Committee has been meeting whatever the link for whatever it is, because they're all available. And they, right. They, they want to, to, to see their discussion and how they're going, this is where you go to listen to their meetings. And if you have any questions about any of this, here's that Gmail account, and let's hear from you. We, we want to hear from you. And well, do, planning, do that for all the committees mm -hmm. until they have a report, and then we'll report it. The planning the zoning, Ariana's right, could really go ahead right now, as soon as they're done, because the budget impacts of consolidating planning and zoning are only to the good in the sense of reducing duplication, inefficiency, legal fees, consultants, okay? So, you know, and, and what surprised me, and I think I'm correct in this, Ariane, is that there's not as much discrepancy between the two planning boards and ZBAs, it's more common it, than I would have guessed. There's more similarities than And apparently yeah. it's going to be fairly be simple, easy simple. to put the two together into one planning ordinance <coughs> so. and the ZBA activities. And that's really good news because that is an area that could be very complicated. So, so I think, divergent laws. So I think our action item is to call the public's attention to these videos that we have, committee by committee, and then seek their input mm -hmm. anytime on that Gmail account. The other committees too, if they don't have anything quite as laid out as planning and zoning, 
But they have budget more But budget like carry they can things. just give a list of things that they're discussing and working on. So that way the right. public just understands like what the different topics and, and, and things that each committee is working on. So even if they're not like completed tasks, they'd be like, okay, right now we're, we're working on this and talking about this and discussing this. So that at, le yeah. at least the public has an idea ideas. of what the different communities are doing. I think and then the also, you know, because different people have different concerns about it, they'll be more likely to know if they want to go to one of the meetings that are open to the public, and most of them are, I think, except for mm -hmm. finance, um, then they, they can figure out better which one they should be going to that's discussing the things that they're concerned about. No, finance is open <coughs> to just the, the committee, not just any Oh, okay. So, yeah, so, yeah, just committee. Take your feel better, Randall. Yeah, feel better. Thanks yeah. for coming. If each committee but, could at least give us some of the stuff they're working on so people but, have a better understanding of what each committee really does. But more committee, I think... You know, even in human resources, what you're saying is true because people probably don't know. The village has a different labor union, mm -hmm. and the town has two. And things like that, which people have to understand that that's going to be a renegotiation of three contracts, perhaps into one, three contracts into two, you know, all of that, and the process of how you do that if you merge. So I think that's yeah. a very good point. Let me ask the, uh, we have the facilities, the people who have to get cracking. Who else do we have that we can You have about? infrastructure, which is sewer, water. In other words, they're they, looking uh, at they, whether they there's, them? oh yeah, um, whether they're going to have, you know, benefit districts, separate special districts. Are we going to try <coughs> and have one large district if the districts are contiguous to the village now and they are except for sewer district six in the town so uh, it's not connected that's a separate sewer plan so i so guess our <coughs> from our committee's point of view we know that well we have somebody who's on the planning and zoning one so we'll know where they stand and we know how to get a hold of you for the finance committee and, and Brian mm -hmm. and <coughs> Randall well, on the other. The chair of so, so I think we'll funnel that information in pretty well. But with the other two committees, we're going to have to focus on getting them, well, one, getting them going, which is not really yeah. our function, but... The facilities can... inventory, you know, for what does the village own <coughs> in terms of space and equipment? Mm -hmm. Okay, fixed assets. What does the town own? And in a merged government, what does it look like? And how much space are we going to need? And what, and, what they recommend? And what they recommend. And that committee, as far as I know, has not convened yet. So we'll have to deal with that in another, <clears throat> but, another forum. But but we ought to have somebody reach out to the water, water and sewer, sewer and people other to, infrastructure. To get, they are see how, So how we can get their where they are publicized too. Mm -hmm. so, so the we'll only one how we do that. Who is yeah. who is on that from the board? Which water and sewer. Uh, that's Jean Gallucci who is chairing that. And uh Fontantillo, Ellen Rocco, um Carol Vol is Carol on that one? Um you were No, I I, I thought I was doing Ray this instead, and so Dave. I have never been to okay. one, so and I Dave didn't know it was supposed to be. Okay. No, they are meeting. So. No, I, I didn't know I was still on it because yeah. I've been Jean, doing this. Jean is, is chairing that, Jean Gallucci. Okay. And Ellen, Ray Linotti, Von Tantilla, Dave Clauser, okay. and I don't so, know who else they've so added, we'll, but those our, are the ones that I know meeting, about. Before our next meeting, we'll somebody Rindy's from here. haven't been good tell, getting back and telling me who's on their committee, so. But they're all supposed to have told Katie and I don't think I don't think that's him. Okay. She knows committee. everybody who's on our committee, right? Committee chairs are supposed to so. feed into Katie. She, who's on their committees? Because we were trying to get like a con, a master contact list together, and I don't think there's. Um, I I, I don't think there's what I have. Well, well, I know, I know. You, I, I'm saying I don't think there is one that is complete. Hmm. Well, that, then Katie, you should we should be asking Katie to contact each chair 
for and getting that information so she has the master list because every committee is supposed to be giving her a copy of what we Their call <laughs> the videoing um, and a set of minutes. Mm -hmm. Right. So I asked her to I think they asked her the minutes on the website. Um, she is she consolidation is stuff. The pinpoint or the latch sure. key or whatever you want to call her. She is the one that's keeping it all together. It's, so the HR people and the zoning people are <coughs> coming up soon with their recommendations. And I think Jean is pretty as uh, far as the finance committee is concerned, is that something that um, do we have to wait for the final final report or can there be a presentation like an interview or something about that to put on TV? You can ask Dave what he would like to do, but I think it would be best to have the final so people don't get confused. All right. So what we that's, have... That's my own... So we have two coming up soon, two that we have to get going on, and then the finance at the end. No, one to get going on. Well, two that we have, to, we have to get going on and getting the data. Oh, 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 you guys we have to get, to get going. going. <clears throat> and the one, there's, there's I guess, I mean, that would be, have to go to a higher levels to deal with the other one because something's, you know, this is ridiculous. I am sure that Dave would be happy to share the process we're using you know, the assumptions that we're making <coughs> on the model budgets, why we're using 2011 <coughs> figures, and that's part of the fiscal delay in the okay, two well budgets. Okay, probably we can both ask him yeah. about and what how, how he wants to proceed. Yeah, we'll project that to, to we're going to project it to 2015. And, and be thinking of what, from that committee's point of view, what kind of data or whatever would be helpful if we start this frequent box in the newspaper. Well, we're going to give you the budget. Well, you know what? I don't know. They're not going to have a lot of. No, no, not, just, not every kinds nickel of, and dime. What, kind, what, kind, what kinds of things should we put <clears> there, or what references to go here to find out? You know. Right. Because once we get that rolling, I don't want it to stall. No, that's why I don't want to. <coughs> you know, I don't. My feeling is we should not be giving it to you piecemeal. It should be well, the only thing. Of, the only the only thing on the other side of that, which I think Amanda brought up, and I I know her frustration for being on the CAC is that as the <coughs> process unfolded, we got, kind of got to the end of the process before some people had input on it, and it's important for a lot of this to be out there as much detail as we can so that as we're going through, the people can have their comments and questions and not just be say, well, here's the final product, yes or no. no. Am I paraphrasing that correctly? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And, and I agree with Amanda and I agree <coughs> with the concerns that she raised <coughs> and some of her colleagues raised at the past process. but. In a way, that was much more amorphous because there was no recommendation. We were trying to come up with a recommendation and what do you think? Now, there is a recommendation from the Efficiency Committee which needs to be examined carefully. Yay or nay? Right, so Why are you recommending <coughs> a village government as and opposed so the, to a town government. The finance one's a little more sensitive in some yeah. areas, but the other ones, as soon as we can get some data that the committee has come up with out to the public mm -hmm. to get their input. I mean, good. part of the reason finance goes last is because some of the recommendations that will be coming from the study committees, okay. such as human resources, will have budgetary impact. Sure. So, <laughs> you know, we don't want to not have that information. The same with infrastructure. You know, if, if the sidewalks is one of the things that they're dealing with, how to deal with sidewalks, you know, depending upon what they recommend is going to impact the budget. Okay. And if they make a different recommendation, that will have a different fiscal impact. So. Some of the committees are making 
we're going to be making recommendations which will have financial and fiscal impact on, on the merge budget that we're recommending. So that's why it was set up so that the study, the, the study committees must be done by November and the finance committee by December to give us the little lead time to, to adjust and balance it out. I think if we have a list of what each committee is, uh, like each, what, what issues that they're addressing and what things they're working on, mm -hmm. and that will give the public enough so they have an idea of what's, because as we've said, there's a lot of people who don't even know that this is happening at all. And there might be things that they, they don't even know that they have questions about yet because they just don't know enough about the whole thing at all or even just how things work currently. I agree. And if they can see what each committee is working on and what issues that each committee is discussing, they'll get a better idea of what's actually happening here and then that will help inspire questions or thoughts or comments or whatever that we can then cycle to the committees and then take the information back to the, you know, start the circle of information. One of the things, Mandy, you could you think about doing is, you know, you all got the summary of the committees and their charges and what they're supposed to be doing. Is there, are you talking about the 14 page one? No. Mm -hmm. no oh, you're sure. talking about the five page one. Well, the one from Saturday. Oh. The one that. Oh, the committee's recommendation. The board. Okay. What they're supposed to be this working on. This is what the two the joint boards okay. adopted. This okay. is what the committees are supposed and what to be they're doing. supposed to be gotcha, doing. Gotcha, gotcha. And that would even give yeah, a good overview. Yeah, we need to get that out, yeah. The charges. Yep. Are, but no committee was limited. You know, they thought of something that they felt needed exploring within mm -hmm. the definition of their committee, they could do it. Right. So. Um, do we have, I, I know at one point there was a five-page summary from the, the consultants, but I believe that that was not for the final draft. That was kind of when we were having those forums public forums, so they had a, a five-page summary. But now this one is the, for the final report, but it's a 14-page summary. Is there is there a smaller one for the final report, or would we need to I break this, this down ourselves? this is the smallest one. This is the smallest one. So do you there think... There is a one-page summary of what the committee recommended. The right, right, okay. right. But I'm talking about the, the yes. consultant's report. The one that Peter just gave out, I is think. 14 pages long. Really? Which I think we should definitely have available and give out, but I think we might want to boil that down a little bit. Um, well, one of the problems is that, that it, there's a lot of compliment, uh, complicated interlocking issues. Yeah. And if you right. take one out of context, then people won't get the right idea. And that, right. And that's the problem. We need somebody at the the man or woman on the street has a few basic questions about it, but you have to say, well, yes and no, because, you know. Well, at that point, it. we can hand them this, and if they're really interested, they can read it, but. Peter, these three don't count anymore. You could boil it down. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the one of the things we're gonna do this soon. Red. I mean, if people wanna read it for their own information to see what all was covered, mm -hmm. that's one thing. But what Amanda is saying, I think, is, can you boil down this summary into a meaningful document that explains what is recommended and what that means? We're gonna, what's one of the things we're gonna work is on? Is that what? Because there are yeah. recommendations in well, here. Like there's, you know, recommendations, yeah. recommended, yeah, recommended actions, and then we'll pick what seems relevant out of there and then whatever else that needs to make that more understandable. Mm -hmm. And then if people want more detail, I understand. We can so handle this and say, and then if they want, they want even more detail, so we'll go back go to, to that. website man back there. No, but I think Amanda, you're right. I think so that's we have a four very things important. we want to have on the website for sure: the big report, the 14-page summary, the medium, and then the small. <laughs> The one that's and then just Amanda's good. one page. <laughs> <laughs> and then the recommendations of the committee. And then what the joint boards have given as charges to the, you know, what the committees are and what their charges are to, at a minimum, that they should be doing. And you so have that's four those things. Those so we've got, so we've got the one report, we have the mediums, like, which is like 12 page report. 14 pages. 14 pages. Yes. We've got a one page. Well, there's one page of recommendations from the committee, right, Sally? 
And if you don't have that, Sally can get that to you. Yeah. Call me if you need any of that stuff that I have done. And then what she just, I think you have one of the other ones, but uh, the report that the joint boards approved, these are our subcommittees, and this is what, at a minimum, they're supposed to do. Not that they don't have authority to go out and, as they find new things right. added to the list, that's but at a minimum to do those idea. things. So that's four things so far. And if you don't find one, if you'll let us know, and we'll sure. shake them out of the trees. So, is there anything else of we need to speak to Brian about it at this stage? And and you and you're gonna also with besides these four documents have some clever way of some artwork or something that shows how we get to this answer. That they can, you know, email us for questions, starting uh, uh, whatever you two have finally yeah, decided. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I'll with like but just so that that one we ought to start because when we go to the newspaper, we're going to start mm -hmm. advertising that, and every time they say anything, we're going to ask them to put that in there. You got a question? Here it is. Right. Well, the I just made the email address, so that's all set. Okay. Great. Um, and I will. What did we settle on? I didn't actually put that uh, in there. Brilliant the idea, not a set. Consolidation questions at gmail.com. So that's all set. And now I'll make one of those little forms with uh, just like a general question. And we can post that around and have it available on the web so people can start sending in questions. Or maybe just sending, I mean, I guess do we really need the form or can we just send it? Well, we could just know? send in the Well, one, one thing, you know, for those people who are paper oriented, which mm -hmm. I know we're <coughs> trying, trying to put them on the iceberg and let them float away and all that. No. What we should have is, is some, some kind of a notice or something down in the clerk's office, like we have for other purposes. You got a question about this? It's just a little pull off sheet, little piece of paper, so she won't be offended. It's made out of <laughs> recycled corn cobs or something and, and it has the, the, the uh, address and, you know, so that they can Take it home and email something. You know, maybe people should just, we should have uh, an option for people to hand in a written copy. Yeah. You know, like that's down, fine. Down to clerks and the clerk's office. Is she going to, you know, put them in a folder and we'll come by and. Those forms we've already got. They can. And put some in the town hall, put some in the village hall. I mean, really, you could like get crazy and do what Mike Pets do and have like. Boxes around town with like, you know, like they have a little cardboard boxes and you know. They have suggestions about boxes. What it what it means? Yeah. Yeah. So survey. That's what you were talking about. Well, well some I mean, the, uh, the benefits of consolidation. I don't know. Like, key locations on Main Street or something like that. Just put out like a, consultants? Like a, a poster. Do you know about consolidation? No, this or is like, a report, you know, right? Like you know. And like have like a that real was a summary like, of the benefits of like the salvation. Like yeah, yeah, this is a different document. Hmm? This yeah. is different. You know, I think. poster or some sort of. What do those spot? ballot boxes look like? And do, do we think we. Made of cardboard, I guess. It's like foldable into uh, some sort of box structure. Oh, yeah, I know, I've never seen some of it. Yeah, sand it out. It there should be one down the Part of the board yeah. box. Yeah. Oh, well, is it an appendices? Okay. All right, so we'll work. That's that's a good idea. We we'll, we'll work on that. Okay. What about the town website? Do you know anything about that, or who is in charge, or I, what? I don't know who updates it there. I don't it's Carol. I think Carol Connolly does, think doesn't Carol. she? She would certainly know who does if she doesn't, but yeah, I have I mean, a feeling she doesn't. I would assume it's either going to be Carol or was that. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, don't, I guess we have to reach out to them. They might have this stuff on there. And we all also. Um, we want to start publishing that Gmail account on there too. Yeah. Yes, but how? Not so much for the internet stuff, cause it, but for um, anything that we give out, like paper copies of, um, we should have the village web, the village address mm -hmm. on it, so that the non-interneters. Um, people who don't have access to the internet or don't use computers can, you know, write something in. 
And RM has bo- both of her phone numbers. Or Saint call her phone number. Um. No, yeah. So an, an address that people can mail in questions or, or whatever you know for the non-internet users. And then oh, if we have those paper forms, I mean this will be for paper people, but we could also like, post people. up where, wherever we decide to have the majority of the forms. Um, you know, be like oh, you can find all the documentation here, and you know post a little link to that. Or not a <coughs> link, but web address to that, or you can find all the documents that those. What, what do you think we should have somewhere in the village building, government building, and one in the town government building, a folder yeah. that has all these things for people who don't have computers? Yeah. Yes, that's Here, you can sign yeah. out the folder yeah. and, oh, and have a place to go, oh, like it was the library. Or I'm we should sure put them in the one library. in the library if they'll let us do that. Sure. Mm-hmm. All right, here's, here's, we have 10 consolidation folders. You can come down anytime, That's sign it out, go into the cubicle, study They would definitely study. let us do that because Parkpoint has their documents there right We can now. do it in the, in the college, too, probably. That's um, a idea. So on the town, on the town website, it uh, has links to this stuff, but it's not, they're not active. When you click on them, it doesn't lead you to the... So we will go get into so that. So we should get them, yeah, to update this. All right. So is there any other place other than the two libraries in the, the village hall and the town hall where we chamber. should have chamber? About the chamber. Mike will do that, I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if we wanted to get, like, really crafty, we could, like, drop one off at some of the coffee shops around town. What about laundromats? Laundromat, like, you know, you mean the whole comp, we you know, the whole report and all of that? The problem with the laundry. You know, like, if you were, if you were to the bakery, then maybe a few little forms that all. had the email address or the or the post office. You mean not the folder? Not a question, but I don't know if you want to put the whole. Because this is something that folder, I takes a while to read. Right. Well, sure. I mean, or maybe the if people take it and want to read it and want to, and you know. Like you go, you, you go like on websites and in the libraries and in each governmental center. Well, maybe we could have a suggestion box at the one you met in coffee houses, not necessarily the folders with all the documents. Well, you know, you might be right. You can have like a one pager there with it that right. lead that has a link and in the, in the information to where to get all the information online, right? But maybe not the folder with all the documents. Yeah. I, I would think about having question boxes just like Mike Penn is doing yeah. for their survey. Yeah, that's what you were saying, yeah. The so people could submit questions. So put them, um, put them indoors, though, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Mike Penn. Yeah, the Mike Penn, so it's uh, Yeah, all right. Question boxes. Those that's another good way to get business. They had. I don't know who made them for them, but they were nice. I bet Julie lettuce. would help us. I'm sure lettuce will rot. Sure. You can definitely well, make them out of sure reuse time. material. Amy too. Okay. You mean how, how many people are? How many individuals? It's about, it's about eight thousand people in the village and eight thousand people in the town. Very it's very actually good. seven and seven. Seven and seven. Mm-hmm. Right. And does that count the college students? No, that's uh, another seven thousand. Well, Roughly. Yeah. So well, not, depends, but not everybody depends. in the college votes. Depends on the year, but generally it hovers around the, the, the late 6,000s, early 7,000s. But 7, it's about 50-50 as far as the village mm-hmm. and the town. For permanent for, for, residents, they're going to count. Transient population. Then, then, then it would be like 14 to 7. People who vote in a referendum will be the electors who are people who yeah, say they're residents. Votes. And those the property owners is a yeah. different yeah. question for this because what? property owners is a different question because because there's the like ten of them. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the rest of us. That's not too accurate. It's a slight exaggeration, yes. <laughs> Supposedly, seventy-five uh, percent of the people in the village are, are tenants. tenants. The town's probably the other way around, mm. but I don't know. So this um, comparison is going to be on the website. 
the the uh, document the, the four doc the four documents of that of which that is one will be uh, be on the website. Well, it was the, the consolidation efficiency study with the steering committee and its work it had its own website, and it was on there during that time. And as Peter, who was the consultant, said tonight, they kept it open for a while, but then there wasn't any more traffic, and it was a fee for it, so they shut it down. But now we'll put these documents on our village website, and I assume the town will do the same. On but its the, website. the complete study is right and. It's available both. Um, I know it's available in the village. It's big. And you know, I have a copy if you want. Yeah. Borrow it. This might be our only copy. Yeah. But that's on not, this, right? Not, and you're going to get that on the website? Report. So people can download it? Oh, oh, there. Yeah, oh. Yeah. People from another generation. And the study is about. It's up to me. I send it over to the elves. Because you know, uh, you know, it the does all sorts of different comparisons. and. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna. That's gonna be a struggle. <laughs> that's for the winter in front of the fire. Dense. That was a struggle. It's very dense. This, well, this is. Where did this go? You know, this is final draft. I guess a lot of people are gonna try to. Run is it the final report or the final draft? Making the system more efficient. You know, and the whole reason we're doing this think, is to make the system more efficient. Um, there's a lot said in here that doesn't to agree with that thought. You know, you're, you're taking half of the population and it looks like the proposal is to reduce taxes. The other half of the population, it will actually increase taxes. No, because one of the recommendations of the Efficiency Committee, and that is why it's very, very important that you not just have that document in, that it has to be tax even for both. Tax that is one of the town. recommendations. And by definition, the million dollars that we got since that study was done assures that. So this is not taking the million dollars into Oh no. Well, the million the dollars time, is long after. Yeah, at the time the million dollars wouldn't have gone to a committee that would be coaching that. Yeah, to dissolve one of the of government. But now they would give you a notice. Cool. So this the, this report was the efficiency committee reported out a year ago, October thirty first. The town and village board joint so action. This is without even considering a million dollars. Yeah. This is just what would happen if the two months. No, no, we didn't think we could get the million dollars. Yes, right. So okay. this <laughs> is on the and the efficiency committee. Yeah. Recommended no tax increase for either side, and that was prior to the million dollars. So, if we are doing that which the F efficiency committee recommended, we have to hold a constant for both, okay? So that there is no tax increase on the village or town side. Now, We've got the million dollars on top of that, which is on, in addition to the instructions of the efficiency committee, which says it must be tax neutral. I, I, have, I have a question. Based on on what you've read, you probably have questions. Well, and, well, I'm like the public. <laughs> well, that, that's exactly what I'm thinking saying. right now. Yeah. So I'm coming in line. You know, I, I haven't really been involved in what you've been. No, but well, yeah, if, if I were just to look at this, it doesn't make sense, right? It, it's it's this, um, I, and I'm sure you've thought about how to describe the sequence of events, of course, mm -hmm. what you're putting on the website, but this will create a lot of controversy by itself, so you don't want this by itself, mm -hmm. right? Well, but right. this is exactly, this is perfect, because this, this is exactly what we're trying to get to the heart of it, because as I said, we are so involved, it's almost like we can't yeah. make ourselves see well, what, how we would do That's why Amanda recommended the summary of right. Ariana. That's why Amanda said, Oh, I know. I take this <laughs> and summarize it. I know, but, but, but what I'm getting at right now is can we 
formulate questions that from what Elise was going to ask us right here. Because we're coming up with questions, but we know the, we know the answers to these questions. But Ariana, well, I, I if you read questions. that right now, even knowing what you and I, I think know. I think I understand what's going on. Yeah, but I and believe. Amanda is saying, take this and boil it down and which, boil it down. I, I told what you, you're which, recommending, which we plan to do, right? Which I totally get. I'm talking about something separate. <laughs> We're coming up with questions. The questions that you're going to have the public bring in are actually a very important part of this process because you're going to learn. Yeah. Right, before you can even go further with what's recommended, you're going to need to hear from us. So the questions will be good, you know, controversial or not, the questions are going to be a good piece of, of the mm -hmm. process because you're going to find out what's important to everyone. And, and then you're going to be able to, as, you, as we all answer these questions, we're all going to have to come together, a lot of us, and answer these questions, we're going to come to the solutions. We That's why questions are so yet. important. So I, I, I think that also points to going back to Webman over here, that we're going to have to have a fifth thing on there, and that's a blurb at a minimum, if not the actual law, because that'll put people to sleep if they try to read the actual right. law. A blurb about the process that we applied for and changed the, the law of New York so that co terminus gets this million dollars and it goes 70% to tax, which that, that should be right up there with the other basic documents because yeah. that's that key. helps. That's, that's a big deal. It is I a mean, big you might deal. even want to keep it simple saying just that the, the million dollars that we're, we're, that we're receiving in aid from the state will offset any tax increases. Well, that, however we say no, it. That, that, more that, that, that is wrong. Yeah. The efficiency committee has said. Yeah. We're hoping if to have we, no taxes We are it. listening to the recommendations. It's saying has to be neutral so or we don't do well, right but there but the million dollars is now icing on the cake but yeah, isn't that going to offset the cost of transitioning 30 percent of the million dollars 300,000 a year can be used for transition well, right, that's what I'm or saying that it should costs. be if, if you put it in the context of that if you let people know in that blurb because that's something that people understand is that any any potential increase in cost to the taxpayer will be offset by this million dollars. So they understand what that million dollars means. So they understand that their taxes are not going to be going up. If you break it down into percentages, that might even just be more confusing. If you can just say we got a million dollar grant to help with the transition so that there will so that any tax in increases are will be offset. So there will be no tax increases during the you know throughout you the transition. I don't know that you can you say know? that. Well I think with this okay. blur we're gonna circulate that whatever it's going to be to make sure that it's accurate because it's a little complicated. I mean, I would love to Something should be right. There. Okay, but you're still going to have two governments right. functioning separately for two years. Mm -hmm. Just say one government decides that they're going to Build whatever. Stuff. Okay. Okay, okay. And, right. and I see what you're I see what you're you're Right. So you I mean all you would do is need to say that like as, as a result of this of this if consolidation. Are, like if the town wants to increase taxes for a completely different purpose, right. obviously this is not gonna control if that. If we are honoring our pledge and if we are honoring the basis on But you which can still most say that the million dollars is gonna board, offset the cost of the transition. Board members accepted the report and intend to see the report out, then you are absolutely right on the money. Right. Okay. That, but I don't want to commit to a future town board that they are going to honor what we are saying. We are saying the current village board, the current town okay. board are saying, we went out and we are promising you that we are going to hold this budget so that there is no tax increase for the town or the village. Now, there could be a decrease, and wouldn't that be wonderful? Right. But no increase. And then, on top of that promise, we went out and got state finance law amended 
So we're going to get a million dollars every year, 70% that must be used to reduce property taxes and 30% or whatever. And I would presume you could use 100% exactly. of it. Well, See, that's going so to be so much harder to get an blurb, though. Yeah, it is, but we got to say something about it. At the yeah, point I know. Because obviously, it's true. I and and you know a few few more points, and I and you may have studied this and know all about it, and so I am not, I don't want to, uh, yeah. you know, we should say make things that, the blurb that you already because. know. <laughs> no, but uh, I want to know her. But the questions. idea of the efficiency committee was they thought that they could do this without this money. I have to go here. And they're pledging to the people in the town because the people in the village, because there's not going to be any village tax anymore, so their taxes are going to go down for sure because there's one set of taxes that are gone. So it's the people in, in, the, in the town outside the village that were concerned about it. And the committee thought, we can make this happen through efficiencies so that it will guarantee that their taxes won't go up. That's hard, but they could do it. On top of that, is this new law that says, okay, now we have this million dollars to use in this process, so things are looking much better to make that work. But you're absolutely right that if people are confused by that, we have to find a way to make sure everyone understands that. And so, Brian, is there a way to present it so that people aren't reading it concurrently, if you will, but rather this is what we knew then. This is what was recommended in January 16, 2012 to the two boards and the boards adopted. So you're saying then, like, tell a story, chronological hmm? order. Yeah. What, what about we got to where we are. What about okay. a timeline? This date we got a grant from, from the Secretary of State to do this. Then we had, for this to this, we did a steering committee and a consultant study. Then we had this recommendation. Then we had this law that says you got a million bucks, and you know, right. so that people, when they read that, I think book, that would be before they get into all the minutiae. Yeah, you know. a timeline is an excellent idea because I think then it puts it up. <coughs> is that something we can put on our website? Sure. Sure, you can do timelines. Okay. You, I would put that. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> I have to do them. I don't have to put them on the list. So that'll be maybe the first thing on the list: the historical timeline okay. from 19 and whatever. Well, it was. I already sent Katie that email. <laughs> I feel like we'll start in uh, 1887. <laughs> okay. Um, I think we only have to go back to 1949, which is I think when the first discussion. I I think that he would, he would know. He was around. Uh, I was. <laughs> well, so were you. Anyway, um, I think the timeline should start when we applied for the grant. <laughs> no, We're not going to have to go. Fifty thousand. The patent seems and all that. Okay, uh, because I know that some of us have to to go to work. We we can probably um, see what else we have to do at this meeting. Is there anything else on the website and? We have our tasks there, what we're going to do. Right? What's the next time this committee meets? Well, that's the last thing we decide. Okay. And, and, and Gail Gallery, the last two meetings couldn't be there, and I want to try to have it at a night when she can make it, if we can possibly do that. Sure. I don't, I don't, it, it's hard, as you know, to, with all these other meetings, and, but we, we're trying. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll continue to try. I can work on the summary of this. That would be great. I might need help at some point, in which case I will ask for it. But if I don't need help, then I'll just present well, it to you. I'll email to everybody for input. You can ask any of us anytime. Okay. And, uh, I will continue to be your responder. Thanks. But I need you to tell me whether you are satisfied or want a more complete statement. You know, I went through the questions right. that you all posed. So we put the questions and we answered them, and then you answered them again, so we'll have to Consolidate look at that. I, and I read your answers, but I want to read them again, and then we'll... And then you got a set of questions. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Yeah. And the other thing that's on, on the list... Answer. The other thing is um, the, the assignments this, this committee has had is to come back with questions and contact people from the, for the... Um, 
Speakers Bureau when we get going. And uh, for the first couple of meetings, we, we have that in there. You'll see those in the minutes. So I don't know if there's any anyone has anything further to add on that tonight for her to put in the minutes. If not, we'll shoot for the next meeting to increase those lists, but we'll we'll keep it up. Ariana, I have not seen the answers to the questions that Stuart said you answered. Well, I think we... Um, you posed the questions in the minutes. I told you I would respond, <coughs> which I did. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if we had them in, in the form that are finally vetted answers, but I mean we were but talking I mean, about. But you said you have answers to the questions, <coughs> and I'm saying I well, would. We like have to, to put them in writing. Yeah. I would. Oh, you don't have them in writing. No, we discussed them at the, the meeting. Oh. Here's the question. Here's what I think the answer is. That's right. how we've got those questions. This is what we think people will want to hear. Well, but, Here's but, the but question. Sally answered those questions. No, I this answered. is before that. Even at the meeting when we the questions oh, came out, oh, we said, yes. "Here's the questions, and here what we think the answer are." But we have to check to see if that's right. So, so I you need probably to see, have helped us. I need to see your written what you yeah. think the answers are. Well, the, what you really need to know is do we think we, that we, we, have, both, we differ? The, those with are you. in the minutes. The answers are not the questions. Yeah, no, 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 are. they are. They're very. You know. I have the minutes, Ariana. Well, I know, so do I. And you have some. Yeah. Not one. not all of them are answered. Okay. So we yeah. Your but like yeah, things but like it. this. Yeah. One we answer. have your contact information, well, no, so you first, get the minutes. The first like six or seven questions. Are answers. But then the answers there. we would love to have yeah. your. I mean, they're not full answers. Name just, and email they were address at the minimum, and anything else you want to give us. Okay. So it's the security number. The town. That's the question. Whether you like That's the box truck, whatever. More services than the town. We went through some of them and answered them. We didn't go through all of them and answer them. Okay, but that's my point. But the three questions that Stuart had proposed had answers. To them. Okay. Well, okay. I was not so, complete. But but that was a uh, he only had a hard copy and I didn't. Yeah. So I need that. your three answers. If you have your hard copy of that, then well, just give it to someone to tell me. Her. I'm sure you do. I mean, her contact yes, wait, sure. I don't you're the most know. neutral person. Okay. Uh, about what? Will you look at Maybe the question? Should. No. Will you look at the question? Yeah. It's the the answers I propose. Okay. And tell me whether you think they answer the question, whether you'd like to see them more developed. Okay. Okay. Where can I get that? Every, I sent it to everybody, to the... Oh, today? No, Ariana sent, and Stuart have had the answers for a month. Okay, I'll have to go back to my email on that one. I'm well, sure I'll be can, able to find it. Can you... Uh, so well, yeah, I'll Ariana, will you send send to... Why don't you just... Attach Looking it up. No, just attach it as an attachment to the minutes. So it's called Suggestions for Community Outreach Committee. It's easy for me to say because I'm not doing okay. that. This document. Oh, well, but... Will you I, I wouldn't be able to look up the document. I have to look for what the email is that you oh. sent me. But yeah, I will do that. So. Okay. Um, it, it's dated September 24th. I got it. And you'll forward it to Amanda. Okay, so... It, um, so you want me to tackle these? One of the things that we've been when you get to when you get to minutes, they're they're still Ariana, the minutes are still continuous, right? She she they're continuous because it's her belief that she's hoping you're not gonna print them out on paper, which I do, but she's again. Uh, but no, anyway, they're continuous so that anytime somebody gets them I only have to send one document. But you have all the minutes since the beginning when you get them. Okay. And you'll yeah. see and uh, one of the things we've been asking, as I said, is to have members of the committee, and you can see what's in there so far, is come up with organizations, groups in the community, what, who the contact person would be, uh, so that we can contact them to go to see if they want to speak here when we have, because our, our job, once this everyone comes yeah. up, this is what we want to do we're to get the word out. Right, that's one of the things we're doing, yeah. <coughs> so we're, we're trying to develop that list now so we don't know on November 30th, all of a sudden we need to have 50 contacts and run around trying to find them. We'll have, have them already. And the other thing, we, we've been working on these questions, 
and uh, you'd be an excellent one to work on questions if you hadn't been involved in this before because it'll be things that we've been talking about for two years and you haven't been right. and, and right. obvious to you that there's a question here and why don't these people answer this so you know that'll be helpful to us and you can uh, bring them with you to the next meeting or you can email them to Ariana or me all of the people it just so happens we have four of us out of the five on the village board of Phoenix but it's, well, you normally it's just us website. two here. but we have our websites and you can get us and if you want telephone numbers or anything you certainly have those too whatever you we're very open so okay. so do you want me to tackle the new list of questions that were posed yeah that would be we great we love that thank you but so Amanda's much. gonna vet my responses to your first set of questions and I'll even do see. better and I'll vet it past a random person that I know that isn't really that involved in this yes see but if even that Okay. That, if, that, if there's any that I'm not sure about, then I will go ask some random person mm -hmm. and see if they understand it. Okay. And so, then you'll tell me, mm -hmm. Sally, can you can elaborate? Put, yeah. Or put the other side. I guess, are we done? Well, I'm almost done. Okay. The, uh, we're we're about to have, have to go to work. we're we're yeah. about we're, yeah. we're about to pick the, the next date and then adjourn. Is there anything that? From the agenda or anything else on anyone's mind they want to bring up now. Okay, then the next meeting day, uh, often we, we get the proposed dates and then we have to check with the calendar with the village clerk. We have two rooms and as long as one of the two is available we can meet then. Uh, and then of course all of us who are on the village board seem to have a meeting. Or more every day. <laughs> or but, more. So we'll work it out. Is there any day uh, that are good or bad for you? I can plan. Are you talking? Are you we meet. Weeks from now, we're week from now? Uh, probably three weeks from now, give or take. Beginning of November. Or do you think we have to meet before that? I'm Should gone till election day. Should we just email? You're gone? I'm going to Israel from October 25th through November 5th and doing a birth rate trip. And I'm going to be in South Africa in November. Doesn't anybody stay home anymore? Anyway. Nope. <laughs> I'll be home. All right, so I'm going for free. It'll be it'll be it's sometime after election day, I guess. So you can be uh, thinking about. Unless we want to meet done. before the twenty fifth. I don't I'll see any point in that. What was your question, Sally? All right, so it's all right. Is there any particular day? That we we can't do it in the daytime because people will work and they complain. About it. So. Uh, we'll, we'll have it in an evening and yes. we have to, yes. but any evening is okay for you as long as you have notice. Yeah. Yeah, somewhere We can, we try to stick away from that because it doesn't help attendance, it's already with me, but. Did Ariana, you have her email address? Yes, we've already been in the affairs office. Okay. Okay. So that was what a man I, I, I just put it in. Yes. All okay, right. Would someone, would someone like to make a motion to adjourn? I make a motion to adjourn. A second. Second. Third, triple. Yeah. All in favor say aye. <laughs> aye. I oppose nay. We're adjourned. The Jason 